It's kind of sad to see what's become of Bill Maher. He's got... It's funny because he keeps liking Bill Maher. Tim Paul is like... Um, uh, Bill, every time Bill Maher goes after, like, woke, he related stuff, okay? Tim Paul is like, yay, Bill Maher is like, okay, he's different from the rest of the left. But then every time Bill Maher says something that is against Trump or some, against conservatives... Temple is like, oh, it's sad what's coming up, Bill Maher. It's, it's almost as if if Bill Maher says something I agree with, then his grade is going in the right direction. If he goes against what I like, disagree. If I if he goes against anything I agree with, then it's so sad. Bill Maher has lost it. He's lost the plot. Yeah, sure, that's how it works. Huh. Trump derangement syndrome. This, yeah, Trump derangement syndrome. Everybody, this is what they say. This is like Tim Pool who pretends like he's not a right winger and he is. This is what a lot of right wing people do. Everybody who disagrees with them on Trump is just, they just call it Trump derangement, Trump derangement syndrome, TDS. That's all they have. That's all they have. They don't like, okay, they, if you tell them this is the reason, these are the reasons why I, I don't like Trump's policies, they're like, nope, 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 TDS, you guys have lost your mind, everything that Trump does is wrong, that's what you guys think. They have nothing to say. Trump derangement syndrome, and he's got, it, it, it's, it's beyond just Trump, there's a kind of political bias exacerbation and, and, and shift happening among the left. I was talking to a friend recently who said that she used to be pro-choice, but didn't agree with third trimester abortion, now telling me she's totally for it in any circumstance. And I was just like, how did that happen? Like, why did your principles change? Because mine didn't, mine didn't, right? I have no idea. Your principles change because you reevaluate things and you realize you're wrong, uh, you're wrong about something. Your principles changing is not a bad thing at all. Like, oh, mine didn't, my principles didn't change, as if that's something to be proud of. But look at this story. Bill Maher is slammed for saying that Democrats should make an issue of Amy Coney Barrett's Catholicism because being nuts is relevant. Bravo, good sir. The Democrats warned. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Being nuts is relevant. Warned ...about attacking Amy Coney Barrett's religion because it will fire up Republicans to make them go vote. Now, Bill Maher is an, he's well known for his criticism of religion. But I remember the documentary he did called Religious. One of the things I like about Bill Maher... One of the things I agree with with Bill Maher is he that he he never hold back he never holds back going after religion any religion and it's consistent Islam or Christianity okay um, I don't agree with his anti-vax crap right but I cannot you know I could enjoy like I don't have to agree with somebody one hundred percent to be able to celebrate when they're wrong, right okay I don't have to be like yeah, I could call out Bill Maher's anti-wax nonsense while appreciate his anti-religion, you know, activism. You know, the fact that he makes, he gives so much, he brings it, you know, there is no other platform that is so mainstream that is so anti-religion. Can we think of anything else? No. It's the most mainstream, high-profile platform that is so anti-religion is Bill Maher. And we should, we should be able to take that. Like, we shouldn't be like, you know, just because we disagree with him on his anti-wax stuff, that doesn't mean that we, you know, we, we can, we get what we, can, what we can take, right? Let's continue. That was actually fine. I liked it. I'm not, I don't consider myself particularly religious. Uh, I don't consider myself an atheist. Agnostic maybe isn't the right word. So then that, there's, you, you left out every single option. Wait, maybe deist. But seeing this from Bill Maher is to me him going more extreme. Why? I vaguely remember this. I could be wrong. But I remember he, he mentioned something about how... This is not, not extreme at all. Compared, like he knows his documentary with religious, religious, right? Remember you guys that Bill Maher made that documentary? This is not at all his position right now is not at all more um, extreme than what he was saying in his documentary. Let me check something. Yeah. 
how people were praying for him. This might actually be in religious. People prayed for him. And as much as he doesn't agree with it, he said he appreciated it because it showed that they were willing to do something they thought would help. They were going out of their way to give him time and energy. And that shows that as much as he doesn't think look look at his what he's saying he's saying that saying people being nuts is relevant again it is relevant okay giving this like positions very you know, not people that are insane extremely powerful positions is going to affect people's lives that is relevant okay but he's saying that he thinks that bill this is a contradiction to bill maher's previous position because in his documentary he was appreciative of people praying for him because he felt that even though it's not, at least they were trying, like they cared enough to want to like pray for him or something like that. Like it was, a, you know, he appreciated it or something like that. But that doesn't, co you know, that doesn't contradict. These two positions are not mutually exclusive, right? I think that if somebody comes and does some, Let's say somebody comes to me and be like, Armin, I really care about you. I want to protect you. Let me cast this protection spell on you. I'm going to cast a spell that is going to protect you. I'm going to think that person is nuts, but I'm also going to think that person is kind. And when I'm like, oh, this deluded person is trying to protect me with his magic spell. That's so cute. Thank you. You're, I mean, you're a moron, but thank you, <laughs> all right? Again, saying, being, th being thankful and grateful for somebody genuinely caring about you and wanting to protect you with like a magic shield, you could genuinely be thankful to that person and think like this person is kind because he, he or she really cares about you. Like he's trying to like cast a spell and protect you. Like, like you're, you're a kind person that is trying to do that for me. You're insane but you're kind again these two positions are not mutually exclusive so that's why the same way if somebody like prays for me i say thank you to them no why not yeah they, they think they're helping i um, again i think they're wrong i might tell them they're wrong if they think like it's they're not going to get buttered over it or if there's they show me some green light that they welcome me um, welcome me criticizing them, but if not, I'll just say, like, well, thank you. Thank you for your magic spells. I think it does anything. That was, that was nice of them. It's, it's, it's to, to, they're trying to do something for him. Now, he's calling Catholicism being nuts. Joe Biden is a Catholic. Joe Biden says he is a uh, practicing Catholic. Is Joe? Oh, yeah, there we go. Joe Biden, here, here comes your point. Oh, like here's the thing. You immediately went to call uh, to Tim calling out to DS, but you refused to acknowledge the context. We're getting to it. Hold your horses, you moron. Just a f wait, you idiot. All right. Joe Biden is a Catholic. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden says he is a uh, practicing Catholic. Is Joe Biden nuts? Okay. Hey, I'll tell you what. I ain't going to vote for him. Bill Maher said so. Yeah. So, yeah. Joe Biden believing in Catholic faith being true is definitely nuts. Uh, Amy Coney Barrett as being a Catholic, believing in the Catholic doc doctrine is definitely nuts as well. What is the difference? It's the same thing when I say with Muslims or other Christians, right? So, believe, religion itself is completely crazy. It's nonsense, right? But be you, a person being religious... Uh, or not religious, or Muslim, or not Muslim. It's not like a binary thing. It's not your your mind on religion or off religion, okay? It's not like an on or off switch, okay? So, for example, you, you could have a Muslim who is influenced a lot by Islam and a Muslim who is influenced a little by Islam, okay? It's more of a spectrum than a complete on or off, right? So... Just because somebody uses the label Muslim or Christian, that doesn't mean they're, they're completely insane, okay? But the more somebody is, in, because Christianity and Islam and other religions are nuts, period, the more some a Muslim or a Christian or a Catholic is influenced by their religion, by their 
moronic ideology, the more moronic their behaviors and their beliefs are, right? So you could have somebody that is like let's look at the entire spectrum, right? You could somebody have you somebody that is like just a Muslim, but they they're what do you call a nominal Muslim, right? Their behavior, their actions is a very little influenced by Islam, right? I mean, it's still nutty that they call that some a Muslim, right? But you go through their life, like maybe if Islam, maybe if Islam has no influence in their lives or behavior or, you know, and you could be like, okay, so the, given that the influence of Islam is very low in their life, then their behavior and their actions are not that moronic, right? But then you have somebody that Islam has a little bit of influence in their lives, right? Um, and, you know, they pray five times a day, they fast. But other than that, not much influence. Um, so these people, a little bit more moronic, okay, than a nominal Muslim. Again, some, saying somebody is like has moronic behaviors or beliefs, it's not that unique. Most of us have some moronic behaviors and beliefs. But given that religion is 100% moronic, if you are, if your life all of a sudden goes to the direction that is like, you know, you're 100%, everything you do is influenced by Islam. There's everything that you say, everything that you do, you consider Islam before you do it or you say it, then yeah, you're 100% a moron. And everything you do and say is moronic, right? Same thing with, and this is a great example, like you have uh, Joe Biden and you have Amy Coney Barrett, both are Catholics. But Amy, what, what the things Amy says are a lot more nutty than somebody like Biden because she is deep into the Catholic cult and very specific Catholic cults. And she takes it a lot more seriously than somebody like Biden. So, yeah. Amy is, Amy's religious belie- behavior is a lot more nutty than somebody somebody like Biden because she takes a nutty religion a lot more seriously. Therefore, she is a lot more nutty. You know, do I, am I going to dismiss the fact that even considering yourself Catholic is nutty? No, I'm not going to dismiss that. Anybody who calls himself Catholic at all is a moron for, just for that. Because they're endorsing a system and idea uh, 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 that is, you know, that funds and protects the abuse of children. It seems like that's their major, their main main thing right now, right? So yeah, screw screw that and screw everybody that even even if they don't do anything Catholic. Screw the fact that you're even endorsing their, endorsing that system just by calling yourself Catholic. So yeah, screw you. But again, I could be like less. I could be more um, critical of somebody who just uses the label Catholic or maybe just says some magic words here and there. I um I could be more critical of, compared to that. I'm more critical of somebody that is actually like really really wants to follow the doctrine and also make it you know spread it spread this disease like when like do you think like biden wants to bring the kingdom of heaven on earth he doesn't want to do that like he doesn't give a crap like so he has he's been poisoned a little bit by the catholic doctrine but at least he's he's not going to spread it somebody like amy is going to be put in a position where she wants to you know, and force these ideas, you know, force these ideas on a whole bunch of other people. That's a lot more dangerous. It's a lot more dangerous.